Investing in growth stocks, finding the next Amazon or Google. Investing in growth stocks can be a lucrative way to build wealth over long term. Growth stocks are companies that are expected to grow at a faster rate than the overall market due to their innovation product, services or even business model. While growth stocks may be riskier than value stocks, they can also hover higher potential returns and this is what is interesting for us. So how can you find the next Amazon or even Google? Here are some tips for investing in growth stocks. The first tip is pretty simple. Identify companies with strong revenue growth. One of the key indicators of a growth stock is strong revenue growth. When a company is growing in revenue at a faster rate than in industry peers, it suggests that the company is gaining market shares and expanding its customers' base. To identify companies with strong revenue growth, investors should begin by reviewing a company financial statement, paying attention to its revenue growth rate, revenue per share, and revenue growth acceleration. Investors should also look for companies with a large and expanding addressable market. Companies that operate in a growth industry or that are disturbing existing market can have a significant growth potential. By identifying companies with strong revenue growth and large addressable market, investors can potentially identify a company that are poised for a long-term success. The second thing is to always evaluate the competitive landscape. Evaluating the competitive landscape is an important step in identifying growth stocks with a sustainable competitive advantage. A company with a competitive advantage can maintain its growth rates over the long term as it's better positioned to capture market share and fend off competitors. How do we evaluate the competitive landscape? Investors should start by analyzing a company business model, product, service, and obviously the intellectual property. They should also review industry trends and dynamic, like what's currently trending. You're not gonna be like targeting something that was trending 10 years ago, but there is a large potential growth. No, you're looking for what is currently trending. By identifying companies with a competitive advantage, investors can potentially identify growth stocks that are better positioned for a long-term success than other potential stocks. The third thing is always look at the leadership team. A strong leadership is critical to the success of a growth stock. A strong leadership team should have a track record of success, a clear vision for the future, and a strong corporate governance framework. By assessing a company's leadership team, investors can gain insight into the company's strategic decision, its ability to execute on its growth opportunities, and overall long-term potential. To assess a company leadership team, investors should review the biographies and track record of key executive. Then, they should also review analyst report, news articles, and other publicly available information to gain insight into the leadership team capabilities and priorities. The fourth thing is consider the valuation. The valuation is an important consideration when investing in growth stock. As these stocks can be expensive relative to their earnings or revenue, high valuation ratio can be justified by strong growth prospect, but they can also leave investors vulnerable to price declines if growth prospect fail to materialize. To assess a company valuation, investors should review financial metrics such as price to earnings, so the PE, the price to sell, PS, and price to book. PB. They should also review analyst report and news article to gain insight into the company's growth prospects and future earning potential. By carefully considering a company valuation, investors can potentially identify growth stocks that are underevaluated and have strong long-term potential. And finally, one of the most important thing is diversify your portfolio. Diversification is a key principle of a successful investor and it's particularly important when investing in growth stocks. Growth stocks can be very volatile and risky. So investors should diversify their portfolio across different companies and industries in order to reduce their overall portfolio risk and improve their chance of achieving long-term success. So to diversify their portfolio, investors should invest 
in a mix of growth stocks, value stocks and income generating assets such as bonds or even real estate. They should also diversify across different geographies to reduce their exposure to country specific risks. By diversifying their portfolio, investors can potentially improve their risk adjusted return and build a portfolio that is well positioned for a long term success. Now let's go back to the thing. I mentioned Amazon and Google, but now let's take a closer look at two examples of growth stocks that have had significant success in the recent years. And as I told you, we're going to be talking about Amazon and Google. So let's start with Amazon. Amazon is a leading e-commerce company that has disrupted the retail industry with his innovative business model. And I told you before, always look at the business model. The company has a large and expanding addressable market and has consequently grown its revenue at a rapid pace. In addition, Amazon has a competitive advantage due to its proprietary technology and logistical infrastructure. While Amazon valuation may seem high, the company growth prospect remained very strong. Amazon continued to invest heavily in new products and services such as Amazon Web Services and Prime Video, which could drive future growth. So basically, the company is not staying on one thing. They understood that they can try to invest into other files and take the lead there. And this is so amazing to invest in a company who has a vision like this and is not trying to just wait. Most companies, they get good at something and then they're not going to focus on something else. They just let themselves get beaten by the market on what they're doing right now and they're dying over time. But Amazon is different. Now, let's talk about Google. Google is a leading technology company that dominates the search engine market. The company has a large and expanding addressable market and has consistently grown its revenue at a rapid speed. Google has a competitive advantage due to its proprietary search algorithm and advertising technology. Like Amazon, Google's valuation may seem high, but the company growth prospect remain very strong. Google continue to invest heavily in new products and services such as Google Cloud, YouTube, which could drive future growth. In conclusion, investing in growth stocks can be lucrative. As I told you, if you would have invested very early in YouTube or whatever, like I told you about Google, Amazon, you would have built wealth over the long term. When investing in growth stock, it's important to identify companies with a strong revenue growth, evaluate the competitive landscape, assess the leadership team, and consider the valuation and diversify your portfolio. So now, by following these steps, you may be able to find the next Amazon or Google and enjoy significant returns on your investment. Obviously, everything I told you is not a financial advice. I'm just telling you what personally helped me to invest in some growth stock that helped me to make that much money. Everyone has his own strategy. Some people prefer to do some more research. Me, I like to have a global understanding of all the aspects. There is those five main aspects I told you before. Try to get as many information as you can for every single of them because it's true. You might have a very good business model. It might be amazing, but what if the team behind is not serious or they have a bad reputation? The people won't believe in the team and they won't believe in the company. And so it's not going to like grow on the long term and another competitor will come take the same business model and will bring like a solid team where people are trustworthy and they will literally take over the game. So really be careful and do your due diligence, do all the research you should be doing. Now, when I'm talking about Amazon and Google, okay, you won't find big companies like this every week, every two weeks, but always try to look at something that is potentially rev revolutionary, revolutionary, because those companies, they have a proper impact in our world. Look at Google. Like there is not one single day where you are not using Google, either to go on Facebook, on Instagram, like everything goes to Google. Even Amazon, I didn't mention that example before, but Amazon right now, they have their supermarket and they're trying to diversify themselves. And the key element is to find a company where you're going to put your money and this company is going to be like a leader. And those companies, they're not going to let themselves die and try to find new things. As we said for Google, they try to buy YouTube or Amazon. They are doing prime video. They are doing their grocery. So yeah, always try to find companies that are trying to fight and are trying to stay 
on point on the market and they are not letting the competitors taking advantage because let's be real those companies have billions and most companies when they start they start from zero so if you have billions okay in your banks you can literally always stay on the top if you're smart enough to not like just be a lazy you know so guys i hope you like this video and i hope it will help you to make some money in case you think it's gonna help you to make money feel free to hit the like button and subscribe